You just created a free site. So now what? Let's add information. Simple as your favorite social network, but with the power to turn ideas into action. A free site has one page, and this is where you share notes and files with your team or manage one project. Here it is, front and center. This is where everything goes. This is your page, so let's click on it. We've loaded this page with helpful hints, but let's clean it up and give it a name. So I'm going to go up here where it says this is your page, this is the name, and I'm going to click edit. Delete all this information out and change the name to kickoff. I'll type a description, planning for our kickoff and all the elements needed for success, and click save. Now let's attach a file. We're going to go to the post box here and choose the word file. Then I'm going to choose file and I'm going to select my launch artwork. You'll notice that you can choose any kind of file. Word, PDF, Excel, M4V, movie file, whatever it is. This happens to be a photo. And I can put a description. This is our launch artwork. I'll go down here and click the word add. And you'll notice that this launch artwork just shows up down here in our history section where we see a history of all of our posts. I know who posted it, what was posted, and when it was posted. Now we can add a visual identifier to brand this kickoff page and give it a little style. If I hover over image, you'll notice the word edit, and when I click on it, I can choose a file. In this case, I'll choose our all hands on deck. Set the image, and you'll see that there's an image at the top left to brand our kickoff page. Think of this one page like a manila folder. Everything stays here together and organized. Now before I keep adding to this page, I want to invite people to the site so they can participate. I'll just click here where it says invite people into this site. It allows me to put an email address in and then I choose the level. So in this case, I want to make this person an administrator so they can help me run the site. Normally you just make people a general user with standard access. And down here is the message that this person will receive by email. And then I simply click Invite. Now you can see here, I click Manage People, and I can see this person just accepted the invitation. That was quick. Now I'll go back up to my home page and go back into my kickoff planning page. The left side of the page has all of the options. And here you can see members and access. This is who can access the page. So I'll click edit and I want to give Seth Taylor ownership of this page as well. Now I'll save it and we can work on the kickoff together. Back in the post box here I want to post a message. So I'll click in the box and I'll type kickoff goals. I'll attach a message to it that we want to outline our goals. And you'll notice here at the bottom it says that it's going to send an email alert to the people subscribed. And because I'm the one posting it, Seth Taylor is going to receive it. I'll go ahead and click Add. And you can see that this was just added to the history here, as well as has been emailed to the other person on this project. Now let's create a task. Again, everything gets added in this post box. So I'll click here where it says Task. Let's go ahead and name our task. We're going to create a draft for a proposal. We can assign a due date, let's put it on the 22nd at 1 p.m., a priority, and we want a reminder to go out at the start time if it's not complete. Now who's responsible? I can check off my own name or Seth's name, and also I can send an alert to people responsible. So if I need to alert Seth, and I also want to be a part of this task, then I'll click Add. The task goes in our history section here of tasks to be complete, has just been emailed out, and it will alert us when we've got to create the first draft of the proposal if it's not already completed. To complete it, either one of us would just check this box. That's how you complete a task. All right, now let's add an event. So we'll click here on event and add a planning meeting. The planning meeting should take place probably on Monday morning. 
Let's do that at 10 a.m. We want a reminder to go out 30 minutes before the meeting. And the attendees, again, are going to be both Alex and myself. I do want to send an alert to attendees. This actually sends an ICS file to the email and actually adds this into their own calendar, whether it's Outlook or Google Calendar. Click Add. So again, it's in the history of items that happened on this page. And if I go up here to the calendar, you'll notice that it's added the meeting on the 20th and the task for the draft proposal. By the way, if I go back to our planning meeting and I click on my name, Alex, I can also go here where there's an image and click Edit and put a profile picture of myself. Now, if I go back to my project page inside of Kickoff, everything that I've posted has a photo of me next to it. If you have any questions at all, you can go to the top right here where you see the word support. And you can type your question or feedback here in the box. You can also call us directly at this telephone number. What does it mean to upgrade your FMII site? Or how would that help you? Well, right now your FMII site has one page for a kickoff. But if you want to plan lots of projects, you want to share lots of resources across your company, or you want to use this for contact management or a CRM tool, those are all things that you would use multiple pages for, and that would be a reason to upgrade. The site is designed so that you have room to grow, and we look forward to helping you to achieve your mission. Thanks for being empowered by FMI.